Hello viewers, we're back in the Bug Out Bunker for another edition of Triber's Sandos. <laughs> now, I'm not sure if this one is a joke. It could be, but it sounded like a joke we should try anyway. Dave JH87 said, pot noodle, meaning a pot noodle sandwich. And then Graham Johnson, nice of you to use a proper name, said, chicken and mushroom, pot noodle, smiley emoji. So, um, I mean, they could just be having a laugh, but as it happens in the fridge, we do have two pot noodles. We have Bombay bad boy, whatever that is, and chicken and mushroom. And since um, Mr. Johnson specified chicken and mushroom, I thought we'd make a chicken and mushroom pot noodle sandwich. What do you think, crew? Yes? yes. I think in order to make a pot noodle sandwich, we have to make the pot noodles in the conventional way, which is in the pot, and then strain off the soup part, because obviously that's not going to work in the sandwich. So what you actually get here is a noodle sandwich with some flavorings and chicken and mushroom in it, and an accompanying bowl of soup. Here is the bowl ready. There is the strainer ready. Here is the ceramic hob thing. There is the water boiler on. There is the iPad shut down to save the battery. Chicken and mushroom we're going with, so I'll put Bombay bad boy back in the fridge so it doesn't go off. Filter the line, close the lid, wait three minutes, blah, blah, blah. You know how to make pot noodles. If you don't know how to make pot noodles, there is something seriously wrong with you. Now watch him cock it up. Now he said that tear here. There, I have teared there. No, that's wrong. That's the soy sauce. Bollocks. The ones I make regularly has a little packet of the Korean ones, has the little packet of spices and, you know, the things I mean, the shin cup. But it doesn't matter, does it? I mean, soy sauce, it's not going to disintegrate. So it's this good, wasn't it? I was just saying you can make cock up making pot noodles, and there I did, in fact, cock up making pot noodles. But never mind, as Derek and Clive said, there's the line. We're now going to just wait for the water to boil. Some cheap library music, pictures of kittens. Something like that. Do you remember your first ever pot noodle? That's a good, my first ever pot noodle was that. I might have been a bit late because they were around in the 70s, but I think I may not have had a pot noodle until I went to university because I think my mother probably thought they were unnecessary. So I don't think we would have had pot noodles at home. We did have noodles at home. My mum would make sort of very basic in the way that, you know, mums of that era made curry, which was leftovers with some curry sauce on. But also golden wonder. Yes. Gave up crisps. Yes. Everything into pot noodles. Yeah. Really They've gone, haven't they? The crisps. Are, yeah. are they? Yeah. We sound like such old farts. But when I was a boy, we used to go to the swimming bars and the big treat was to get a packet of crisps from the vending machine. It was always golden wonder and walkers were a bit sort of left field, weren't they? You didn't see walkers, but now walkers is everywhere. And are also the same company that make, what are the ones in France called that are actually the same? Lays. Yes. yes. Water is boiling. Phil, this is going to be slightly tricky with the saucepan. It requires commitment. There you go. Up to the, no, I've buggered that up as well. Up to the line. Bloody hell, how can this, honestly, I've made thousands of these things. The first time I try and do it on what passes for television these days, it's an absolute travesty, but never mind. There you go. Pot noodle, uh, fork. Just a quick stir to make sure all the powdery juice. These are particularly stubborn pot noodles. I think that can have a little bit more water, but um. Close the lid so not too much of the heat escapes. Mop up for the second time. What's the matter? No, it's just laughing at you. Oh, okay. Don't forget I'm your employer. <laughs> that's off. Here is the bowl. Uh, that's a bit inconvenient, but that isn't inconvenient. Let's do that. That will warm the bowl up a bit. Hot food should go in hot plates, bowls, whatever. Here is a spoon. Who's going to want to try the soup? Who's going to want to try the sandwich? I haven't done the bread. What is the matter with me? Here is some government issued bread. Two pieces. How many pieces do you think I should butter? One. With what? Lurpak. Thank you. Lurpak spreadable butter invented in 1901. I sometimes get this wrong, but it's now on the side of my fridge that Lucy Brown bought for me. So I never get it wrong again. There is Lurpak 1901. If I do get that wrong, the fridge automatically corrects me. Made from natural ingredients. It says here, uh, which I still can't remember. No. Yes. Lurpak spreadable butter on one side of the sandwich. Would we like any other dressings? Pep Sorry, that was my guts again. That happens every time we do this. Would you like some a blacker pepper on there or a sprinkle of salt? Black pepper doesn't sound right with pot noodles, does it? What else have we got? Branston, Cajun seasoning, salt, more Branston, 
Blue Dragon Sweet Tune. I don't think we need any of these things. Yes, let's just... Who's going to try the pot noodle sandwich? Lucy refused to try the deeply left-wing sandwich from Holland because it had cheese in it. Dairy-free cheese. That's a no-no for Lucy Brown. So, it's only fair since you haven't been fed, Lucy, that you can have first, first dibs on the pot noodle sandwich. Yes? Yep. Yes. It still isn't four minutes by my incredibly accurate digital watch. Not sponsored before anybody suggests it. I just bought it from a shop. Oh, f*** it, let's just Here we go. Pot noodle juice forming our soup accompaniment. Oh, it's a little bit of chicken and mushroomy juice in the bottom. You don't get a very big, oh no, it's not bad actually. And it actually looks extremely good. And in fact, this is probably going to be ruined because the thing that's nice about the pot noodle is no longer in it. So just give them a bit of a, a tease to make sure the juice is out and the flavor is absolutely evenly spread. And now I'm ready. This is going to be a warm sandwich. Obviously, I should possibly have warmed the bread up as well, but too late. Here we go. Well, it doesn't look very promising, does it? Right, here we go. I'm going to cut this into four. We give it the traditional uh, food tribe squash. But I'll have that bit. Mm. Wrong! Yes. This is going to disintegrate. This is going to be a bit like a kebab. At least 20% of it will end up on the floor. Who's coming in first? It's Lucy Brown from Drive Tribe and Food Tribe, I believe. Oh, wait for, wait for it. It's made the sandwich very soggy. Right, tuck in everybody. That looks absolutely fantastic, <laughs> including finger and thumb indentations. It's gonna be hard to eat. Not really. It'll be, it'll be hard to eat all of it. Do you want a gazunda thing? Is it? Mm. Seriously? Yeah. Lucy Brown likes something. Do you want some soup to go with that? I'm okay. Let's see what we're actually missing from the pot noodle. Oh man, that is so nice. Tom Witter. In fact, well, Ben, you might as well come in as well. You can have the soup if you like. You have to pick it up with conviction. It's a bit like eating an old publication or something. It's really weird. Is it? Texture-wise, yeah. What, like a pamphlet from the Victorian era? A book that's been dropped in a gutter. I, think, I wonder if it might be better. I actually, that, yes, that's what I was looking for. The melted gazunda. Ben. So let's imagine we are at the embassy. Yes. And I say, there you are. Kind of pizza. Oh. Was that you, Lucy, left that one with? That was Tom. I finished mine. Good God. I don't really know. Interessant. It tastes like a pot noodle in a sandwich. That's exactly what it tastes like. <laughs> I don't really know either. I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not as nice as pot noodles, no. is it? What can we conclude from this? So this is, we are we are talking about the work of Graham Johnson and Dave J H eighty seven. Can they sod off? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sod off. Thank you for watching.